that's interesting. All righty. So we got to get on going this morning. How's everybody doing? We got a lot of work to do. We is, of course, June 2nd. We got to buy some cattle. Got a lot of interesting stuff going on on the farm. William and I are probably not going to be working together as much today. Sadly, as much as I love the man, looks like he's already here on the farm. Go have a conversation with him, see what he's up to. Well, good morning. How are you? Hey, you became Felipe. I love the mustache. That's great. I've been growing it out. I, I can tell. Looks like you about to head on out. What's this all about? Uh, yeah, I had Alex come in, and they got a big grass field. They need limed. They're running a little bit behind. I didn't think we'd be putting lime down in June, but uh, they've had some stuff come up, so I'm going to head over there and put some lime down for them. All right, you go for it, man. I'm probably about to start getting stuff dealt with with the cattle. I'm going to let you deal with that by yourself today. I'm probably going to deal with cattle. Once you get back, we need to talk about getting our stuff sprayed. Actually, have you seen the dealership yet? I have not. The dealership just got in. I was talking to them the other day. They just got in some new Wilson spreader trailers. We might want to look into them for the dealer, for the co-op so we can lease those out to other people so they can do their own liming and uh, fertilizer. I think that, uh, yeah, that sounds like a really good idea. We'll have to go check that out later. But I'm going to let you get on the road. I got to get the truck pulled out. Got to get it hitched up to the old cattle trailer. Um, I do know I'm going to probably end up also at Brody's farm by the end of the day buying some bales from him. Alrighty, this shouldn't take me too, too long, so uh, I'll come find you when uh, when I get done. Well, I'm also letting you know I did put out another help warning sign for the farm because I know co-op is about to start pick up with the spraying and stuff like that needs to be happening. So I'm going to try to see if we can find somebody new to help, on, help out on the farm. That'd be perfect. All right, let's get to going. Let me get my stuff going. You have a good one. Alrighty, so we got to go ahead and hurry ourselves over here this morning. Yeah, it's been a long, long day already, and I, we haven't even got started yet. We got to go ahead and hitch up our good old new Ford to the good old cattle trailer. So I found out something pretty cool about this truck this morning. Let me go ahead and hit this button on inside the cab. Unlocks it. Yep, there we go. We got ourselves a little gooseneck hitch, and we don't even need the other stuff. It's awesome. There we go. Got the trailer hitched up this morning. Oh, that's not pulling right. Um... Ooh, that's not good. Like, let's take a look. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I need to replace two of these wheels. See if we got any air compressors inside of here that we can pull out. All right, got air compressor pulled out here this morning. All right, there we go. Go ahead and get the line hitched up to this right here. Go ahead and let it start press. Put some air in here this morning. Shouldn't be too much longer. I do know Brody said he wants to stop by, have a conversation with us. We need to buy some stuff off of him here pretty soon. So I'm going to just let it right there. And I think I'm good to go. I don't know. Kind of want to see if anybody shows up to the farm for a little bit. All right, get that cleaned out. There we go. She looks like she's about ready to rock and roll. And we should be good. Good afternoon, sir. How's it going, man? Hey, I uh, was down at the dealership and noticed that there was a sign saying you guys are looking for some help. Yes, I am. Well, I think I might uh, have some uh, services to offer for you. I'm, you know, a, a driver, a truck driver, and uh, just uh, kind of looking for a little bit of uh, spare money right now. Got a couple weeks off oh. and uh, don't really want to head back home and just kind of looking to stay around here for a little bit. So have you ever transported uh, cattle before? I've transported all kinds of stuff, everything from cattle to big, heavy equipment, all the way down to chickens. I like to hear that. I like to hear that. If you actually have transported cattle before, because I never have, I was about to go down to the cattle dealership, as we call it, and or the cattle market, and go pick up some more cows. You want to come with me and uh, see what we can get? Yeah, absolutely. You got a truck? Because I, I don't have the rig set up for that right now. We got this. Oh, yeah, yeah. That looks great, man. That's about the best. I mean, we got to go buy 200 cows. We might, uh, depending on how long it takes us or how many we can fit in here, we might consider buy renting a uh, cattle trailer. Yeah, no, I, this thing looks nice, man. It looks really, really good. You got plenty of capacity here. You want to jump in or you want to take your own truck? I'll ride with you. All right, sounds good. So I got to ask you these questions while we're driving there. Um, You have a valid license, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I got a valid license. You want to buy the cops? No, no, not at all. All right. You better ever been in an accident. I'm going to be honest. Yes, I have. Okay, perfect. We're, well, we're not the best drivers on this farm. We got to make sure. All right, let's let's uh, let's go ahead and go inside of here, see how many cows we can get bought. Because 200 cows, that's a lot of cattle. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Give me a big price tag. And I'm expecting to spend about 300000 today. Holy cow. All right, we got them loaded in there comfortably. Yep, that's a pretty good looking uh, head of cattle right there. Oh, yeah. Well, that's only six. We need to get too many more loads of that. How'd they look? Oh, yeah. Friendly, too. That's a good thing. 
That was something I was concerned about. I didn't know if they were going to be friendly or not. Yeah, they're looking really friendly. I know this is going to be the pen we're going to have to muck every now and then. They, they With it being a concrete pad. See, this was an addition I added on right before I bought the place. I got them to add this on, so I knew putting a concrete pad down, we're going to have to get it mucked out every now and then. That up there, that right there is our dairy barn. So basically, right where that dairy barn is, is technically the start of our farm. Um... I am I am about to start seeing if I can find somebody to lease that out because I don't think dairy cows are in my future. I mean, it, it is tough making money on dairy cows. Back there in the back, you have our junkyard. You have your manure, your flurry pit and stuff like that all the way back there in the back. More storage for the cattle. This is our bigger cattle pen that we own and have. Uh, this is where majority of our cows are going to end up. And actually right up here at the front is where our pigs are going to be, our hogs. Oh, very cool. Looks like you got a nice little, uh, not a little, but a nice barn sitting right over here. Got some good equipment. And I like, I like the murals up on the walls too. Well, most of this was done by the old farmer who owned it. Um, I just kind of took over. So he added a majority of this stuff put in here. Um, our best bet would probably be to move these trucks out of the way. And you want to help me back these trucks out so we can go lease some trailers? Yeah, absolutely. There we go. That's actually, well, I'm thinking about it. Let's put the trailer up over here. Uh, by the way, if you uh, continue to work with me, we try to leave our trucks parked around the front near my house so that we don't get them in the way and we don't accidentally hit each other's vehicles when we're trying to do normal daily tasks. You want me to move it real quick? I can nah, do that. It's fine. We're set. 10 four. Oh, yeah. This should hold way more cattle. Oh, yeah. This looks a lot better. Looks like they got it pretty close to my trailer back there, though. Uh, not too bad. Could have been a little bit closer. Yeah, my red trailer. I got to make sure the boss... Uh... Boss doesn't see any scratches on it when I get back. I thought you owned that trailer. No, no, no. I'm just the driver or the truck. And we've got ah. A, yeah, we got a guy out of Texas that actually owns the uh, the team. He just kind of pays me to drive it around, work on him a little bit. Pays you to do all the fun stuff while he just collects the paycheck. Yeah, exactly, exactly. He, he doesn't want to have to deal with driving everywhere. He just flies into wherever he needs to be at, has fun, and then sends me on the road to the next place. Ah, I mean, that must not be too bad of a life. Nah, it's a pretty good gig. All right, let's go, man. Absolutely. Like, we got 24 in each one of these now. Oh, yeah. May not have been the biggest upgrade in the world, but hey, an upgrade's an upgrade. It'd be a little bit more stable, too. That other trailer seemed like it was kind of wicked to drive. Yeah, a little bit more difficult than I wanted it to be. And you definitely got a lead foot up there, man. We got a lot of cattle to do today. And on top of that, there's a field that needs to be mowed. There's a lot of work that needs to be done today. Yep, yep. Hope that's it. That's it. All right, Whew. there we go. Yeah, you almost took the fence down there, man. Sorry about that. Good. All right. Let me get this out of the way. You go ahead and pull yours in, and uh, we got to keep going back and forth. All righty. Let's just go ahead and drop them back here. Yes, sir. Man, you guys are pretty busy here. I mean... Somebody's picking up a tractor now? Hey, there's always work to be done on a farm, man. Hey, you want to do me a favor? Yeah, what's up? Can I uh, step in the house, make a phone call, find out where William's at and what he's up to, and uh, let you get everything else put up? Yeah, yeah, just put the trucks up in the uh, in the shed there where they were? Yep, uh, don't put them in the way that they were that time. Like, back them in properly. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll back them in. Let me give William a call. I'll let you get that done. Uh, if you need any help or you hit something, uh, don't come find me. Yeah, if I hit anything, I'm just running away. Yeah, that's what I figured. Uh, hello, Nate? Hey, William, got a question. Yes, sir. How far are you from coming back to the shop? I actually am about to get a check for what I've sprayed today, and then I'll be up at the shop. Perfect, perfect. By the way, letting you know, we have uh, somebody that did come in. Uh, name is Driver. Nice, good dude. He's helped me out. We've got all the cattle transported. I'm probably about to, Mina's probably about to head over to Brendan's farm and pick up some hay so we can start feeding up. And uh, we'll see you, if you want to meet us over there. That'd be good. Okay, I'll meet you guys there. Sounds good. See you there, bud. All right, we'll see you. Driver. Hey, I'm right here, dude. There you are. We got to go head over to Brendan's farm. Uh, he has some hay and we need to go buy it. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. We got to put this trailer up and uh, grab the flatbed real fast. 10 4. Is it close here? Or right over there in the corner oh it's that flatbed yeah i could have walked well we also i made a mistake i don't have a single tractor here with a front end loader that could be a problem that's a that's a major problem i'm assuming the quantity of bales that are going to go on that trailer we're not talking about little bitty ones that hold by hand right no sadly not howdy how's it going man it's going pretty good how's your day going uh going good i just got hired another guy so dealing with him getting him around here how everything goes oh sweet what's your name driver my name's brody what's going on 
Not much, man. Just uh, getting to drive some awesome equipment today and uh, seeing what uh, farm life's about over here. So what brings you down here? I assume you're here about the hay bales. Oh, yeah. I, I, there's 200 cattle at my farm, and they're hungry. I just bought 200 cattle as well. Pretty expensive, if you ask me. Let's see. How many bales do you want? I've got 20 bales already on a trailer, ready to go. You could just take the trailer, to be honest. I want as many bales as I can get. So I've got 20 and a half bales on the trailer. That's all I've got right now. Chris is bailing uh, some more bales right now, but I need those for my cattle I just bought. So I can give you the 20 bales now and give you the rest later. That sounds good. Um, I'd rather you get on, you load them up on my trailer, if you don't mind. So I'm not having to return your trailer at a later date. Uh, okay. Just making me do more work. Unloading bales, reloading bales. All right, we'll get that done for you. How, how much How much are they going to cost me anyway? They're 1000 a piece. That's easy. Uh, William, we have a problem. Yeah, What? What? Uh, what's happening? We don't have anything to unload these with. I didn't even think about that. I didn't neither until we were coming over here. I don't even, we don't even have anything at the co-op we can use. <laughs> That's what I was saying. We don't got nothing. <laughs> I'm going to send you, if you don't mind, send you to go buy a tractor. Okay, that'll be fine. You have $200,000. Some of that's our hay budget, so please don't spend all that. What kind of tractor do you want me to get? Any one you want. Alrighty, bye. All right, let me call the dealership. Let me see what I can get done. Uh, I'm going to let you wait for William. Yeah, yeah. I'm interested to see what kind of tractor he brings. I am too. I have no clue. All righty. So after looking at everything I need to look on the internet, I've come to realize that our best guess for the work that we've done and what we need to get done, we need a roughly spend $20,000 on renting the equipment. I don't think we buy just yet. I'm going to talk to these guys to what they think. How's it going? I mean, it's going pretty good. Looks like we got a nice tractor here. I'm not going to lie. This is not what I expect you to come back with. Well, I mean, what did you think I was going to do? Blow all the $200,000? Yes. I'm a reasonable man. Um, I got a question for both of y'all. Yes, sir. How do y'all, what do y'all think about us spending $20,000 and we doing some, putting some uh, grass in our silage pits? So we're going to rent two trailers, two semi-trailers, and we're also going to rent the part that goes on front of the truck. Only downside is we need to mow the grass first, but I think I have a solution. I believe I can get away with calling either Brendan and Chris to see if they'll come mow a windrow before us, and we'll give them a discount on their silage, or we'll call Alex and see if he'll do it. Hmm. I like your thinking. We can get them to do it, then we'll do our job, kind of us do it like that, have like everybody help out a little bit. I think that'd be great. All righty. I think these shirts should be pretty good. You put silage in or put the grass in. Yeah, yeah. These should fit pretty well into that bunker silo. Exactly. Now we just got to get it done. Hopefully, William gives. I wonder who he's going to call. I honestly, I can't remember their names. He's either going to call Brody or he's going to call Alice to come help. Either one of those. Probably a good option. Yeah, sorry. That truck's a little bit slower than the other one. You're good. Uh, do you want to jump into one of the trucks and follow me? Yeah, just the semi? Uh, we'll pick up trucks. Yeah, I'll drive my pickup. Hey, William, where you at? Right here. You know what time the poker game is supposed to start? Uh, I think here shortly. I think we're getting pretty close. We got a little bit of time, but yeah, I think we do like one pass, get everything dialed in, and uh, we'll call it. We'll call it for tonight and get everything else done at a later date. Perfect. How's it going, Alex? I heard you needed some help. Oh yeah, we need to get some wind rowing done, and we need to get some mowing done in front of us. While we get the silage, uh, the grass thrown in the back of the trailers. Okay, so you're doing silage and not hay? Yeah, we gotta do silage. I totally blanked about silage being part of the operation. Yeah, because I'm not even doing silage. I'm just doing straight hay. Um, do y'all want to go ahead and head up to the first field and let us three to get a couple things dialed in? And we'll head up there and do like one pass, uh, like one pass going down. Make sure our things dialed in perfect. We'll go to poker night. Yeah, uh, which field are you uh, talking about? The one right right out, uh, up to the west here? One right behind the cattle barn, uh, or the dairy barn. All right, cool. Nate, did you put any fertilizer down on this field? Nope. As is, is the way I'm doing it. I got you. How's it running up there, William? Running pretty good. I'm not having any problems. Everything seems to be spooling up right, and uh, we're running pretty good. You might want to come over just a little bit more. It seems like you're missing a little bit. William, you think this is going to work? Yeah, I think it's going to work pretty good. All right. If you think that's going to work, uh, Alex, once you get around to the front bit, if you want to, you can call it there, and uh, we'll call it quits for the day. All right. Yeah, I'll just uh, get it lined up for the next pass and shut her down. Yeah, that'd be the best bet. All right. Yeah, that's that's almost full. Uh, do one of y'all want to go take this round to Silas Pit? Let's go ahead and put it in there. Kind of really expect what kind of job that it did and see if it pulverized it or not. Yeah, we can. Uh, it don't 
I actually like it's been teared up that bad. Oh yeah, it looks pretty good. Pretty fresh and pretty green. I think we uh we can compact this down and make some good uh salad out of this. Yeah, it does look pretty good. All right, you boys ready to go play some poker? Yes, yeah, sir. Let's go get it. How's it going, boys? Uh, Captain Nate, uh, who's the new guy here? Uh, this will be Driver. I'll let him introduce himself. I like he said, I'm Driver. So Nate makes you drive every everywhere? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like literally everywhere. That's that's all I do, right? I just drive. It's actually not a bad gig. He yeah, actually was telling me about his race car he had, and I know we're about to get that new track. Oh. oh. Yeah, it's a, it's a dirt late model. Are we waiting for one more person? Yeah, you know the bailer. Yeah, Brendan's always the last person to show up, so nothing new. Oh, look who's finally showing up. Uh, better late than never. You guys start without me? <laughs> no, not no, yet. We're, we're, we're waiting. No, not yet. no, but uh, if you didn't hurry up, we were about to. <laughs> well, you know, there's only so much daylight in the day. You got to get work done, right? Yeah, you're right. That's why uh, we're charging you $500 for being late per person. <laughs> yep, I'm out of here. I got more work to do. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, so who's dealing? All right, I guess I'll do it this week. Brendan, you better, you better be ready to lose your money. I'm not losing. <laughs> I win every time. I hate you. 